This week at the National Association of Conservation Districts Annual Convention in Reno, Nevada, participants were able to hear about the world's agriculture and conservation practices through the lens of a National Geographic photographer. A uh, few of us get the chance to see the, the whole system broadly. What I think I see and I uh, was most fascinated with is that wherever I went, it was never a simple story. It, it always, life here and our agricultural world looks complicated to us and we think that somebody else's world is probably very, very simple and, and if only they would, uh, would, would see the light on, on one or two things, you know, everything would be better. And what you really find out is that, is that in all of those agricultural systems around the world, all those farmers, they're, they're all pretty smart folks. They are operating a very complicated system within tight constraints. It's the universal. And, and they are actually doing very well uh, in the conditions that they have. And it's, it's very heartening, really because you, you suddenly realize that, that here's somebody you can talk to because they understand on some level the problems, the difficulties of, of uh, putting food on the table, uh, getting crops to grow, uh, dealing with the weather, all those kind of things are universals. And uh, in it, that doesn't change very much around the world. Jim Richardson not only captures images of farmers and ranchers from across the world, he knows that conservation works. One of his favorite images he's created is a product of conservation practices put into place over 80 years ago in Wisconsin. Um, those contour crops going around the hills, um, the whole thing. But as you learn more about that, and you, and you learn more that it wasn't just the cropping, it was, it was the buffer zones, and it was the design of the farms. And it, it was the history of the place, that that place had been so threatened by soil erosion less than a century ago. And now for it to look so lush, like the very picture of fertility, you know, that uh, to me probably makes that picture stand out. You can find more of Jim's story and his capture of the world's agriculture on his website, jimrichardsonphotography.com. Reporting from NACD, I'm Lane Nordlund.